We're all off the record, right? There's only about 15 cameras and 14 microphones. <laughs> Everybody's got their phones turned off. Um, you know, we, we, we do not have meetings with phones in the room. We've unplugged all the phones in our meeting rooms, and there's no source involved in those meetings. So, so talk about that in a more general way, because that was the question I was going to ask you. I'm, you know, I, I heard the word air gap computer network first in the context of, you know, Livermore National, Secu National Security Supercomputing. Now you're using it. Uh, how much of a burden is it? How much does it affect just the ability to do day-to-day -day reporting? Right. I mean, I'm, I'm listening and, and thinking, yes, we do all of those things. We do not do all of those things all of the time, clearly, um, because you can't. And if you imagine that you're trying to hold together a, a story of this complexity and this hard with um, partner news organizations and individuals on many different continents where the catchphrase of the story is, get on a plane. That was the first thing I said to Glenn, and it's, we're still saying it to everybody now, where you've got to move material around where you want to be data free as you, you cross borders because you know what the risks are, and yet part of the thing you have to do is move material around. So um, that's problematic. Um, we have different uh, degrees of secure communication, of course. Uh, tails, if you don't know what tails is, you should know what tails is. So go and ask Mike afterwards, he's very good. Um, uh, but it's a very secure encrypted chat. Tails plus Jabber is, is, is pretty secure, the most secure thing we, we were using. It's also really um, hard to use. It's not like Gchat or iMessage or anything like that. If you're trying to manage lots of people's thoughts and opinions, different news organizations, different uh, perspectives on publishing a difficult story, communicate what an administration has to say about the use of a document, you know, big things. You can't, there's not much subtlety in it. I um, met Holger from uh, Der Spiegel at um, Jonathan Logan's house two nights ago, and the only conversations I've had with Holger from Der Spiegel have been on tales. I thought, God, he's charming and delightful. It's not charming and delightful on tales, it, it's because it's a brutal communication system. Um, sorry, Holger. Um, <laughs> Uh, so you have to have degrees. If you're going to move documents around, you can't use Google Mail. We, somebody from Google said to somebody at The Guardian, do you have confidence that we are protecting your email? We said no, and they said neither do we. <laughs> so I mean, I, um, so we used um, Hushmail for a bit, then we decided we didn't like Hushmail very much, then we moved on to something else, and we have different encrypted text message functions for quite lightly difficult things. And these are now reasonably routine for those of us that have been working on this story for a year. And we have an understanding about what we use for different sorts of communications. And we're able to now use that with new sources coming in. But that's very hard to roll out to an organization of six, 700 people or 12, 1,300 people like at the New York Times. It's a very hard thing to do. We need better tools.